I've been working on preparing the hips from our Displetosaurus and I'm running into a couple of problems. So today, I'm experimenting with a new technique to help me visualize what's beneath the rock. The big problem with preparing a fossil out of the rock is that I don't have x-ray vision and I can't see what's inside. So I have to work slowly and carefully, expose just a little bit of bone at a time, and follow that surface as I work. This is the sacrum. It's a series of vertebrae in the hips that have fused together to make a solid unit that's strong enough to hold up a massive predator. Now this bone underneath it right here is the ilium. That's the big flat platy bone on the side of the hips. If you feel that ridge right here on your hips, that's your ilium. From working on the other side of this block, I know that the ilium and the sacrum broke loose from one another and displaced just a little bit after the animal died. In order to clean it up properly and get it ready for molding, I need to dig the matrix out from between them and separate the two. The problem is that there's lots of little complexities to these bones, and it's really difficult to work on it safely without breaking the bones unless I have a solid idea of what's going on underneath the rock. I do have a few nice advantages. First, the left ilium was also preserved, and we've already got it prepared. My second secret weapon is Rick, our local IT guy and scanning and printing wizard. He's going to scan the completed ilium and print me off a small, mirrored copy that I can keep with me while I'm working on the other block. The idea is to scan the left ilium, mirror image it in the computer, and print a scale model so that I have a reference copy that will work as a roadmap for working on the real right ilium. Now I've got this model that I can keep with me while I do preparation work. I can constantly reference it and keep a good idea in my mind at all times of just what the real, full-sized right ilium looks like. One of the coolest parts about my job is getting to try out new ideas and techniques. 3D printing a reference model to help guide me during the preparation process made it a lot easier to work on the original fossil without breaking it. Plus now, as an added bonus, I have a scale model of a dinosaur rear end. Come see how work is progressing on the Displetosaurus through the lab viewing windows at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. And as always, subscribe to the channel and share the video.